Hi guys, welcome back to Year Star Technical Channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get credit logs for a Year Star system and what kind of software we need to prepare for them. So, what kind of logs can we get from Year Star devices? So far, we can get system log from our PBX, and we can capture CLI live log using software like XShares, and we can get pickup chase files and pop monitor stream files by year start building capture tools, and at last, obviously, we have some linkers client kind unlock of for both desktop and mobile. In the first part, we will introduce how to get system log. For system log in P series web interface, we can find maintenance system log. And then we will find a bottom name log level, click it, and we will see several options. In default settings, the information and the debug option is off. Now we turn these two options on, and you can see the following options appears. We enable SIP debug, and for the IP address, we just leave it blanket. Then we click on save. After this, apply these changes. And then we can download the system log. Our system log contains a lot of files. For common issues, we check PBS log 0 and PBS log 1. And for API issues, we check the API serve.log. And for remote management issues, we will check the CWMP client.log. And for issues like linkers, obviously we will check the linkers log. And we use Notepad++ to read these logs. So you need to download this software before you analyzing all these logs. After you open any of this log, you will find a lot of signaling message contained in one single log. But don't worry, we have some filters for you to filter some important message in a zip call. For example, you can use invite zip, or you can use register zip to filter the message you want to check. Part 2, we will introduce how to get CLI live log. If you want to check this kind of log, don't forget to download software like X Shell or Putty. On P series interface, click Security, Security Settings, click Consoles, enable SSH access by click these buttons, and you can see the port number and the console password here. Click the little eyes to make the password visible, and copy it. Then open X Shell, create a new Windows. Type in your PBX IP address here, and change the port number to 8022. Then click on OK. Find a new session in left menu. Connect to it. The username is support. And then paste your password. Then you log in with a support account. After that, we will use asterisk-7v and r to active the asterisk. Then make some phone calls to reproduce your problems. After you get information you want to check, use Ctrl and C to stop printing. And then copy the information to the clipboard to analyze it. So this is the CLI live log. Then in part 3, we jump to pcap trace files. To analyze this kind of PCAP trace files, you need to download Wireshark for analyzing. On the web interface, find maintenance, find troubleshooting. There is a built-in capture tools here, click start, and make phone calls to reproduce your problems. After the problem appears, click on stop, and then download the PCAP files to analyze it. By using Wireshark, we can check the call flows, we can check the VoIP calls in these PCAP files. More details and skills about how to analyze zip call in Wireshark, please check the videos we published before. Part 4 is pop monitor stream files. Next to the capture tools, you can see pop monitor tools. Before we capture these files, choose the right pod number and click start, and make calls to reproduce your problems, and then click on stop, download it. For this kind of log, we use Adobe Addiction to analyze the frequencies of the sound. And part 5, I'm going to introduce the linkers log. For linkers desktop, once you open it on your computers, you will find a little linkers icon in the menu. Right click it, you will feel view log. Then a folder will open automatically. In the logs folders, you will see some different logs for linkers issues. 
You can check the SIP signaling message in pjship.log. And the SDK log contains some information about log information and logout information, also the interactions with our servers. For Linker's mobile client applications, both for iOS and Android, if you meet up with some problems, you can find the help and feedback buttons in the login pages, click it and report the problem to us. And if your problem is about the voice qualities or echoes, please remember to check the audio debugging open in the advanced settings. Here, I made a common ASUS and corresponding log format for you guys. For audio ASUS, auto provision ASUS, and SIP phone register fail ASUS, we need PCAP trace files. For API ASUS and function ASUS, we need system log. But for most situations, we need multiple logs for analyze, so above table is for reference only. If you encounter some problems that cannot be solved by yourself, Find support.yearstar.com to submit the tickets to us. In the ticket pages, fill in the information of your devices and the problems. At the end of these pages, add some relative files and logs for analyzing the problems. A combination of different kinds of logs would be helpful for us to analyze the problem for you. Then don't forget to submit the tickets. Our support team will help you with your problems once we receive your ticket.